Seven members of the Belmont County community are dead after an apparent murder-suicide. Frank and Bonnie Cosey were found dead at their home near Bethesda after deputies responded there earlier last night for a domestic violence call. Details on exactly what happened are just now coming out. News 9's Jeff Bowers just spoke with Sheriff Fred Thompson, and he joins us now live from the Sheriff's Office with more. Jeff? Sheriff Fred Thompson says the bodies of Frank and Bonnie Cosey were found in the couple's living room, a gun laying at Frank's feet. Bonnie Cosey had packed her bags to leave, but never made it out the front door. The exact circumstance far from clear. The result, deadly. Two shots fired, an argument over. What goes through people's minds is, uh, you know, we never know. Two dead bodies, husband and wife, an apparent murder-suicide, the end result of some type of argument. Both had suffered single-shot uh, gunshot wounds. The female victim, Bonnie Cosey, had packed to leave when she was shot, apparently by her husband, Frank. Close to the uh, female was a suitcase. The two bodies found in the living room. A semi-automatic weapon lay at Frank Cosey's feet. He apparently turned the gun on himself after shooting his wife. It, it appears that both victims died almost instantaneous. The investigation into exactly what happened before the shooting continues, but the end result is just as puzzling as the circumstances that preceded it. I, I knew the, uh, the victim, and, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't have ever thought that, you know, he was, he would have done something like this. Tonight we have also confirmed that Frank Cosey was at one time a part-time uh, Bethesda police officer. Sheriff Thompson says it was not a service weapon that was used in these shootings. Coming up at 6, we asked Sheriff Fred Thompson if his deputies followed protocol when responding to the Cosey residents the first time and if there was anything that could have been done to prevent this tragedy. Right now, reporting live outside the Belmont County Sheriff's Office, I'm Jeff Bowers, News 9, live at 5.